Hey, Garrett, um, <clears throat> how's the hamstring? It's good. And what did you need to do to make sure that you were good for today? What kind of uh, mental hurdles did you need to clear to make sure you were good? Could you just take us through that? Um, I just needed to get some treatment and uh, just settle back into my routine. Um, and so I feel good about it. A little bit ago, Aaron Boone told us that you may have a new defensive alignment going forward with Glaber at second, Geo at short, a good amount, and DJ at third base. Just what have you, you know, what have, what have you seen uh, from Glaber playing playing short, uh, and what what do you think he could do at, at second base? Um, you know, I think that Glaber cares a lot, and um. I certainly see him working at his position quite a bit with Mendy, especially throughout the summer. Um, and, you know, as far as the defensive positioning, um, you know, I'm on board with whatever Aaron thinks is going to help us win. Move to Ken Davidoff. Hey, uh, I almost called you Glaber. Garrett, uh, you were uh, out on the field last night, uh, you know, during the, the bench clearing answer. What, what was your take on what was going on there? Uh, well, I think Giancarlo uh, had a few words to say to Lindor after uh, Lindor had a few words to say. So you, you seem pretty fired up. Just you, you thought. Uh, yeah, it was, was intense moment. Don't you think? I agree. Yeah. What 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 fired you up the most? Just what Lindor said? What well, Lindor's well, John Carlos out there by himself. John just want to make sure that he gets back home without, <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, VR's behind him, the pitcher's behind him. You know, you guys on an island out there, you just want to make sure he's all right. Okay. Thank you. John Schwartz, you have the next question. Garrett, pod is still a bit off topic, but are, are there still things that are in your daily, you know, routine on the mound or anything like that, that, that come that you can attribute back to Ken Revisa and, and memories that you have of working with him back when you were at UCLA? Yeah. I mean, I say next pitch a lot, uh, when I pitch, um, you know, I, um, I also take a minute to collect myself before the, before I start the game, which, uh, which I developed, uh, at school. And I think just a lot of the words I use are the self-talk, uh, during the game. Uh, you know, he was big inspiration for that foundation. I think. How impactful was he, um, what, uh, you know, in Omaha with UCLA and everything like that dur during those years? Yeah, he was tremendous. Um, he just – he helped us come together. He helped us uh, find that, as Chad likes to say, I think that, that neutral that neutral edge, that ability to, you know, keep coming back for more uh, or, you know, keep yourself level if you've had success. So um, – and he just uh, was really kind individual, so –